today guys it's going to be an amazing day hopefully guys we can find something great if not as always we've been blessed and we've been blessed with a lot more so guys let's get started with our dumpster diving adventure what do we have in here You see some hangers, a Nike sock, but it has a big hole in it. Okay. Look, guys, we have a bunny rabbit. Look, he's right there. Let's see what happens when we go closer. I know he's gonna hop away. Look. Well, he's a brave little. Look at him. Hey, babe. Look, look, look. Look, guys, look. I see. Look, look at him. Look. <laughs> look at him. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Bye, rabbit. All right, guys, let's go back to work. <laughs> He was too cute. What do we have in here? stuff, lawn clippings and key barks. <sighs> Someone was in here before me, guys. There's a big hole right here at the top of the can or the bag, so that's the indicator that someone was here before I was. But that doesn't mean anything because what's for me is for me. Oh, cool. Look. We have more bubble envelopes that I can use for to ship off my book. A bunch of mail. So, so far we have three. Three of those, which is a good thing. Let's go pick up this paper here. It's still. Let's go over here and look. Okay. Okay, it looks as if somebody moved in. Because we have the city mover box. New city moving. So they just moved in probably from another another state. Let's see. What did they leave behind? That's one. Here's another two. Three. Some Joe Malone. Some Joe Malone box rather. I actually found some Joe Malone um uh diffusers out here one time it smelled really really good it made my house smell exceptionally well there's another German there 
Yeah, somebody moved in. That's the little the rug that you'll use, you know, to cover up furniture. The pantry. All right. Yeah, pantry. Okay. And then we have a suitcase here. It's actually a pretty good looking suitcase. It's empty. It's empty. Trip. Good looking suitcase that I'll have Antoine pick up. So I'll sit it right there. Actually, leave it here so when he comes this way, he'll see the suitcase. I don't know if it's a like a lunch box container or what, but I will keep this because I can use this for like snacks. Yeah. Let me see what this is, guys, and then I'll bring you back up. Okay, guys. So it is exactly what I thought it was. It's a lunch box, a bent go lunch box, and I will keep this. And I will sterilize it because I'm going to use it for Samuel. I'm going to use it for uh, days when we go to church, um, sterilize it ex exceptionally well. And I can use this to put his little, you know, his little snacks, put his little juice box here, his little uh, graham crackers, some cheese, some pretzels. So I'm going to take that, take that home, sterilize it. And then I'll show you guys how I will go about using it. Okay. So I'm going to put that right there. That's that. All right, guys, here's what I use for every, 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 every disinfecting product, you guys. Clorox bleach. And what does it say? Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So this is my go-to. This is what I use all, all, all the time. Nothing magical. It's nothing um, foreign. I'm sure many of you can find bleach at your local store. So this is what I use. So for instance, I am going to disinfect these three products here and even those glasses. So the first thing I do, I put all of my items in a bleach bath. The water is extremely hot. For some reason, our water gets, what is that? Awesome burn. But anyway, our water, it gets extremely, extremely hot, like piping hot. That's not piping hot, so I'm gonna let that go out. And I'm gonna let it run for a little while so it can get like that boiling temperature. And then I will take this, I will put some dishwashing liquid in there and I will pour bleach in there and I will let every item have a bleach box. All right, ooh, that's hot. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's give it about four pumps. One, two, three, four. All right, I just like to do this so the bubbles can come immediately. I don't like to wait for the bubbles to come. Do that. Some piping hot water, soap, and my favorite, glue. All right. Look, you can even see the steam coming up from the sink. That's how hot it is. And as you know, extremely hot, hot temperature also kills bacteria in germs. I really wish I could buy myself an autoclave so I can put some of the utensils that I find or things that I find inside of an autoclave. And that when that in itself will also kill a lot of germs. All right, guys, it's nice and sunny. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my bleachy bleach, pour some in there. Ooh, generous amount. Put the top back on. Open it up. 
take out the little fur ball that's in there. Right, let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and get the little fur ball. All right, so I'm going to take this, guys, and place this right in the water. Just like that. It's so hot, I don't want to stick my finger in there, but the entire thing has to get inside of there. Woo! All right, so we're going to let that sit for a little while. See, give it a, a bleach, soap, sooty spa bath. All right, so that's this is step one. Step two is actually placing it. If it's dishwasher safe, I put it in the dishwasher as well, and I put the dishwasher on um, the dis this disinfecting uh, setting. That's extremely hot. Oh my gosh! All right, guys, so we're gonna let that sit for a good five minutes, and then I'll put the other items in there. For this, I am going to use some bleach water to wipe this down before I actually spray paint it white so we can get it nice and clean. Now, many of you may say, why do you have it in your kitchen? You shouldn't have that stuff in your kitchen on your countertops. Well, you best believe, yes, I'm saying best. You best believe this entire counter will be disinfected as well. I wipe everything down, of course, with bleach. And um, yeah, so don't worry, no worries. Trust me, we haven't had any issues in our home Nobody got sick. Nobody had any diseases or nothing like that. When I disinfect the way that I disinfect, it is thorough and it does handle the job because, again, nobody has gotten sick in my home, okay? Just so you guys can know as an FYI. Okay. Okay, guys. So now that that soaked for a good five to ten minutes, now I am going to wash it, Okay. So what I like to use, I like to use paper towels, heavy, heavy duty paper towels, okay? And these came from Sam's Club. Um, my husband bought them, so I don't know the exact price. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off at least uh, probably two. Look at that thick absorbent. And then we're gonna go ahead and wash. But I don't like using my dish towels on the things that I find dumpster diving, not until after it goes through the entire disinfecting process. So I won't use a towel on the dishes that I found until after it comes out of the dishwasher. So here is the first smoothie shaker here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Open up the lid there. Pop that in the water. Turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up, turn it up. Oh 
All right, guys. So as you can see, they are pretty clean, actually. If I wanted to, or if you wanted to, people can, you know, leave it like this. And as you can see, it's really, really clean. But I like to go and take the extra step and um, put it in the dishwasher. Now, look, let me show you. In my dishwasher, I already have dishes that I scored from Dumpster Diamond. How many of you remember these bowls right here? And those bowls and this cup I just got from my husband, remember? Put that in the dishwasher, it's nice and clean. That one, these dishes here, and those down in there as well. So I'm going to take all of those out and then I'm going to put the new dishes in. Hey, baby. All right, guys, so here you go. As you can see, it is nice and loaded. I have the glasses up here. Got those back in. You know, it's, it won't hurt giving them another bath. Got that there. And then I have all the other dishes down here. Excuse me, Samuel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and push that in. Push that back here. Oh, one of Samuel's little toys. Oh, it's all in the dishwasher. Got to it, guys. So that's garbage. It got on the heat. Sammy, move back. Move back. Uh-huh. Excuse me. And see, this is another reason why I like to pre-wash my stuff because Samuel likes to touch on stuff. Stop, boy. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me pick that up like that. There we go. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and get the little dishwasher pot, and then I'll let Sammy close the dishwasher. Hold on. Hold on. You want to put that in? You? Yeah. All right. So that's why I want to put his stuff in there. It's all mine. You don't use none of this. You don't want to pre-wash that first. It's already been pre-washed. Okay. Excuse me, Samuel. All right, guys, I'm going to put that right there. Close it up. Ooh. Thank you, Sam. All right, go ahead, close it. This is his favorite job, look. These are his chores. All right, thank you. <laughs> so on my settings, guys, I like to use scour, sanitize, high temp on things that I got from the dumpster because you just never know what's on that, that stuff. And so this will definitely get the job done and it will clean it. So I'm going to go No, no, no. You hit close. Just close the door. So CD, that means you already hit start. All so right. Now. See, I still have trouble trying to figure out this dishwasher. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I'm going to let that go ahead and do its thing. And then we'll open it back up to see just how clean they really are. <laughs> okay, guys. So remember I was just talking to you about an autoclave. I'm realizing that this pretty much is like an autoclave. If you can see, I don't know if you can look up under there, but it says high temp or it says sanitize let me see yeah it is sanitizing right now and then that says high temp but when i touch my dishwasher it's extremely hot and as you can see i have 44 is it 44 yep right here it looks like 99 but it's really see 44 more minutes left so this is really really gonna whatever germs i didn't get in the sink this is gonna take care of the rest of them all right so now for the disinfecting wipes, as you can see, again, kills 99.9% .9 viruses and bacteria. And I'm basically using Clorox bleach wipes. And I'm going to use this for, for these balls right here. Remember I found these? And someone, again, was right. These aren't just balls. These are actually cups, guys. And here's the straws that goes right inside let me show you yikes get over here ball right inside of there although it goes the opposite way but you get my drift see so i'm gonna clean these off with some of the disinfecting wipes and i'm gonna take these balls and i'm gonna put them in here in there right there all right so let's go ahead and clean these off and then decorate my stand how many of you guys remember me um repurposing this this cubicle here or this cube, I found it in the trash. It didn't have legs on it at first. I installed the legs. I redid the top and um, I found all the decor here, guys. Believe it or not, except for the baskets in at the thrift store. But also, guys, one of my YouTube subbies gave me that camera. Isn't that absolutely cute? And then I found this at the thrift store. It was a perfect match to the top of this. And then uh, thank you also to Samantha 
for giving me that flower pot as well as that one over there. I don't know if you can see it. And then I got the love pillow, guys. Not the love pillow, I'm sorry. The anchor pillow from Dumpster Diving. So yeah, all of this stuff I got from Dumpster Diving from you guys, from Samantha is her name. And then I also got some things, a lot of things from the thrift store. All right, so let's go ahead and let's clean off our balls and let's decorate this room. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> about placing them in there i don't know if i like that look so i might take these out of here and again guys look this is a globe for a light that i got from the thrift store some candles i actually got two of those one two and then we have this little globe here this glass here and as you can see look i paid 99 cents for it so i sit that there and let me see what happens if i put that there. Let me go get another ball. Let me see if I can try to get two. Nope, I can't get two. All right, let's see. And let's sit this one here. Turn this one like that. Turn that one like that. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. Let's turn this one like this, though. That way you won't be able to see the. There we go. You see that? Isn't that pretty? Look. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I could probably place these because I like this pop of blue because it goes with the chair. Remember this chair? Oh, excuse my wig. So, <laughs> and then it goes with that blue right there. So I'm going to put that like that. Like that. Put that one there. I actually like that better, guys. I really don't even need that one, to be honest, but I might still use it. Put it in here like that. Yikes. There we go. What you think? Mm, let's see. Let's do one more. Let's see. Take this one out. I don't really think I like this anymore, guys. All right, let me get one more, one more, one more. One more, one more, one more, one more. Mm. I think that may be it, guys. I probably don't even have enough room. Let's see. Yeah, I'll put it on there we go boom that looks cluttered right let's come back let's step back this way uh, nah. i think that's too cluttered guys i'm gonna take one out i'm gonna remove this one and have it like that there we go look you see isn't that gorgeous I love it, love it, love it, love it. And then keep those down there. And then I'll save these for something else. I'm not sure what else I can use them for. Um, I don't know. I'll find I'll find something to do with them. So I'm going to take them downstairs and put them in the box with the rest of my decor that I can't use. I'm going to even take that globe right there because I'm sure I can use it for something else eventually. All right, guys. Oh, let's let's put my baby right there all right let's take this off and then i'm gonna step back and then show you guys there it is Aww. all right guys so let's go ahead and open it is fully Woo! look at that guys it is completed look at how beautiful those are look at that Oh my gosh, you can see right through it, right? It's a glass, duh. But I don't see any spots, any stains. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys, look at this one. Oof. Okay. That's that. Let's look up here. Look at these. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, cool. And they are piping hot, too. They are definitely still hot. What, baby? Yes. Then I put these back in the in the tub. Look at that. Ooh, that's perfect. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Let me see. 
Okay. Oh, this hot. Ooh. Hot. It's coming in hot. All right. And then let's check out this, guys. This is what I wanted to see. Look at that. It's hot, hot, hot. Look at that. Now, we do have some scuffs there, but who cares about that, right? As long as, long as it's clean. So, you got a few scuffs right there. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Scuffs. But it's clean, like, look at that. Squeaky clean. You have that one. And then we have the tray. You see that? Nice and clean and sanitized. So, guys, see? That goes to show you. Just because it came from the trash doesn't mean that it can't be disinfected. It can't be washed and you can't reuse it. I'm excited to use this because um, Samuel likes to have a lot of snacks at church. And this is perfect. That way I don't have to use up a lot of my Ziploc uh, sandwich bags. So cool. Let me go ahead and close that back up, guys. And there you go. Oh, let me show you these. Look at that. See? Nice and clean. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, guys, so here it is. Here is the container that I just cleaned out for Samuel. And as you can see, we have lunch prepared um, for him as well. And in each container, I love it because it's a nice amount, the right proportion for his age group. And we have sliced apples. We have some trout. You know, it's so amazing to me that Samuel loves to just eat plain trout. Trout is a fish. And I love it because it's so tender. It's juicy. And I like the fact that it's a cross between salmon and tilapia. But it's really good. But yeah, so he has trout. We have his favorite raisins and as he calls them pecans pe 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 some pecans all right so we're going to go ahead and give him lunch and we're going to test out our new container but why did you take off your hat who told you to take off your hat are you ready for lunch lunch, lunch. okay wait 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 let's take it let's remove all the stuff off of your tabletop here, you can put this back on. Mommy. Here, head up, head up, head up. Hold your head, bring your head forward like this. Bring it down. Come on, boy. He is so silly. All right, here we go. You ready for lunch? Ooh, lunch. All right, there you go. So I always uh, explain to Samuel what he's eating so he can, you know, so he can know. So you have apples, you have raisins. What are those? Pecans. And what's that? Yeah. Fish. Fish. What's that? Apples. Apples. And what are those? Apples. What are those? Raisins. Raisins. All right. Go ahead and eat up, buddy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, is it good? Yes, you like your lunch? Do you like your lunch? Yes, raisins. Oh, it's, yeah, eat it. Go ahead and eat it. Mmm, yeah, it's good, right? All right, guys, so as you can see, I test, I washed, pre washed, disinfected. And did some more disinfecting to this wonderful container here. It's called a Bent Go. Uh, I think it's about mm, $20 on Amazon. Um, yeah, and I love it. I absolutely love it because everything is compartmentalized. It's great for his little hands. And um, it's just a great, great find. So I'm su super, super happy about it. It will be our staple. We will use this every Sabbath day when we go to church. Mom. That way I don't have to waste any plastic bags. You know, the little baggy bags. Um, and as far as the other things are concerned, guys, I will make this a to be continued. So you can see just how I go about um, taking mm -hmm. care of his truck. How I go about repurposing it. As well as... Um, utilizing the glasses that I disinfected as well. All right, guys. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Make sure you leave comments down in the comment section because I enjoy interacting with you guys. And until then, guys, we'll see you in the next YouTube video. Say goodbye.
Bye. Take care, guys. Peace. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I'm on a mission to serve in whatever capacity the Lord sees fit. I had no idea I'd globally impact the world. I took what others threw away and positively changed minds. People in France, Qatar, the Philippines, and other countries are now following me along 
on this journey.